and welcome back to my channel to the year 2019 happy belated new year i have been traveling over new year's eve so i am getting back to you with my best of beauty 2018 a little bit later but i did not want to keep from you the five products which i discovered in 2018 and really like to use so without any unnecessary blah blah, I am going to start right with the products. I have brought, as I said, five products for you. There's one hair care product, one product we could classify as decorative cosmetics and three products for skincare. The first product I am going to talk about is the Dr. Bronner Lavender Coconut Organic Hair Cream. This is sort of a leave-in conditioner. So the instructions on the product say after towel drying your hair, you should apply this to the hair and it will provide moisture for the hair. What I also do is I apply it to dry hair, which works very well too, especially in winter when my hair is dry from dry air or in summer during holiday, I used it as well to give hairstyles a bit more texture and to smoothen my hair. I'm really happy that I discovered this product because it's finally a leave-in hair um, hair care product which is sort of substituting my old leave-in spray I had which was discontinued by German drugstore brand Avere. So after trying quite a couple of products I have finally found something which works well for me. Despite rather using it on dry hair as sort of a styling cream I have finally found something which also works as a leave-in conditioner quite well for me. The second product I want to show is a rouge and highlighter combination, the rouge tint and highlighter in shade 10 soft peach by German drugstore brand Alverde. So this is something which I think they might have already discontinued again. Um, they love to do that, just throw a new product, a new shade or even a new product at all on the market just to discontinue it after half a year or after a year which is really sad because first of all, the shade is really lovely. It works really well in winter and summer all year round. And it's become really one of my staples in my handbag. It is, as I would say, a proper highlighter. It's shiny rather than super glittery. Let me just quickly show you. So you've got this really nice and even shine. And with this, it's very nice to apply from really under my eye here in the corners to my cheekbones. It does not settle into fine lines, which is really good. I would even say it distracts from fine lines because of this really smooth shimmer. The only thing is because I have it in my handbag and I do use it with the applicator it comes with, it is almost a bit too much product. Um, to finish it in time for it not to go bad. However, I do love it. So if you have a DM round and you still see those or you see them again that they're being relaunched, just drop me a message and I will probably go and get some. Moving on to skincare now. The next product is something I have not really tried before. Um, it's an oil cleanser. So I always wanted to use an oil cleanser, but I've never really dared using one. So if you've been following me for a while, you will know that I like to moisturize my skin, especially my um, facial skin with oil. So I always, in terms of a cleanser, I always was looking for something that could take out the oil and balance this. So I was shunning oil cleansers for quite some time. And this one was actually sent to me by Acrel, or rather the first bottle. So I already repurchased one and I would have probably not tried without this. So I tried the sample they sent me and I was absolutely amazed, especially during summer when I have um, multiple layers with sunscreen and quite thick and heavy textured product on my face during the day. I found that this would really solve everything easily and cleanse my face thoroughly. Now in winter, I haven't used it that much, but I am definitely planning on using it again in spring, summer season when I rely more on SPF on my face and I want to get this off thoroughly. So it works like this. You dampen your face a little bit, then you apply the oil cleanser, you massage it in, you let it work for some time, and then you use a washcloth and you take the product together with all the makeup, everything you might have on your face, 
off with the washcloth. I really liked as well the sort of slight peeling effect I got from the washcloth and the nice effect is also that it's effortlessly reducing the waste because you're not taking it off with cotton pads but rather with a reusable and washable washcloth. The next product is also something I have never tried before and it is the next consequential step in um, facial cleansing. So I'm talking about a toner which is the organic floral water witch hazel from um, Floram, Florame. So this is something I have so I've obviously already tried floral waters as toners, but um, with witch hazel water, there's something special to it. So witch hazel water has got sort of like a slight and natural AHA. So it's got astringent properties. And especially in summer, when I did not want to increase the sun sensitivity of my skin and definitely did not want to overdo with peeling or even with other skincare like rosehip oil that can make the skin more sun sensitive, I used the witch hazel water in order to clear and tone and um, tighten my skin and I have ever since just kept that also in winter as my daily toner in the morning so even my winter skincare has changed a little bit due to this so I'm not only using thermal water in the morning anymore to clear my face but also witch hazel water and in the evening I use it after cleansing with my cleansing milk or with my other cleanser I use witch hazel water as a toner before I apply another toner to my face and then apply facial oils or other moisturizer. Afterwards I would sometimes use as a next step a non-foaming cleanser just to really deep cleanse my skin. The last product I am going to show you know already that I love it to pieces. I've showed it already to you earlier in 2018 but I just have to repeat myself here because it's one of my favorite favorite skincare products for the face it is the dr hauschka eye balm a friend of mine um recommended this to me last year and ever since it has been true love i use it during the night during the day i also use it someone recommended that to me on instagram so i use it for facial steams to protect my under eye area from the hot air i use it um overnight and when i wake up in the morning this is seriously having a similar effect to hyaluronic acid but I think that this is more nourishing my skin than rather just pulling moisture. I really wake up, everything is tight, everything is plump. So overnight, this is definitely one of my top tips. I also use it during the day. I'm just dabbing a very, very, very thin layer here. The formula is quite rich, but with just using very little, it also works um, during the day. I also find that it prevents the concealer from getting sucked into the skin because the skin is already so um, moisturized and saturated with this eye balm that the concealer is then lying on top of the skin and it doesn't creep into little creases. I can only really warmly recommend this product. I mean, it's got a bit of price tag to it. I, for example, always bring it from Germany because here it's even more expensive, but it's just love. So, and now we are already through. I can't believe it. This is a under 20 minute video. Can we have some applause, please? So I hope you enjoyed the video despite it being short or maybe because it was so short and concise. Do let me know. It would be interesting for me to know whether you prefer short videos or whether you rather have me rambling on for longer. I anyways wish you again a happy new year. I hope you found it interesting to see what were my favorite products in 2018. Do leave me a comment if you're using these products as well, if you have tips how to use them or let me know what were your favorite products in 2018 and which I should try out. To see more from me and the products I'm using and I can recommend throughout the year, you can visit me on Twitter and on Instagram, which I leave you the links in the info box below. If you like this video, you know what to do. And I see you again in the next video. <clears throat> um, so um, I tried the wash, washcloth, washcloth, reusable, but with a reusable, okay and i go hunting more um it's true love and from germany from germany love